Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your girlfriend here. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I know it's been a while since I have been on camera. A little update for y'all. I am in community now. Um, community has just been like a wreck for me completely like i don't even know what else more that i can say about that but anyways today y'all we taking our midterms so i wanted to go ahead and record the day for y'all um maybe the next few days in my life we'll see how that goes um i'm gonna get to the school a little early so i can study hope for the best because we take this pre-exam before the real exam and i did not do good on my pre-exam so because i didn't do good on my pre-exam that just makes me think i'm not gonna do well on my real exam so but yeah y'all i'm up and all ready to leave the house um i got my bag I just gotta put my laptop and stuff in it. I am currently on my way to school now. So I'm learning that today is a holiday, President's Day. Ask me why I didn't know that. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm on my way to school now. So um, apparently my group and I are supposed to be presenting today. Oh, wish us luck, right? Because I'm not a huge presenter. I'm really not like don't put me in front of the in class like just don't do it don't put me in front of the class I'm not gonna show out for y'all <laughs> cuz your girl got anxiety and I have anxiety real bad like real bad and we're also um, aside from a presentation we're taking this new exam called the CJE our CJE, I like to refer to it as our midterm because it literally is. We have three exams. What the fuck? People cannot drive in my neighborhood. So we have three exams. We have our first exam, our CJE, which is our midterm, and then our third exam, which is our final. Yeah, so after this, we'll have one more exam left, and then I'm done with community. So after this class, I will be moving on to Complex, which is like adult health too, basically, um, ICU nursing. And I'm also very, very excited because my next clinical site, I'm on an ICU floor. So I'm so excited about that. I think I'm going to learn so much. I really, really hope I do at least. Um, and I just hope I have nice nurses who want to give to the youth and teach. <laughs> I know it's not their job to teach like don't think it's like that but I also feel like if you know this isn't something you want to do or you know um, you're not going to give the student a good experience I don't think you should take the assignment I just feel like you should be able to voice hey I'm not really trying to deal with a student today or hey I really don't want a student you know it's no biggie cool right I'll just go to the next one I made it to school um class does not start until one o'clock we're about to meet up my group and I to go over the presentation so I hope that goes well and then we start at one and then we take our CJE exam and then I think she said we'll do a lecture after that and then I guess we'll be presenting so she gave us a choice our professor she said you can either do it today or next week which is week eight our group decided nope week eight we just want to take the final and roll out so yeah that's what it's looking like class today 
today what we did was we presented my group and I did very well I'm so proud of us because I really thought it was gonna be like a dumpster fire so I'm proud that we did well we also took our CJE exam I completely failed the first one so I'm hoping that on this one I did much better she said she'll release the grades tomorrow and tomorrow I have clinical so I should be at clinical once we get the grades unfortunately because when I'm expecting my grades I can't focus yeah y'all go ahead and pray for me hope that I passed a little bit better than I did on the first one um, I put a 50 on my what if and I'm still passing the class but y'all know that's like the bare minimum that's like completely the bare minimum we don't want to hope for grades like that so fingers crossed but once again y'all I do want to stress that this is a community class like the class that we're in is community health so with that being said there is no scientific logic behind it it's um it's very like community based for sure very community based very like bedside manner ish so yeah you're either good at that kind of thing or you're not since seeing this class I see that I tend to be better at matter-of-fact kind of things um, scientific kind of things but there's a load of traffic so anyways I will talk to you guys once I get home hey y'all so I just got home not too long ago from school I came home to a package the first thing is I got this vegan screen protector i heard this one is really really easy to install on your phone and so that's why i got this one it's not necessarily like a quality thing or anything like that i've never used it before but apparently this one is the best to come out with no air bubbles no um lint and things like that and then i got this lash cluster kit from kiyu um, this is a new company for me y'all. I usually let me show y'all which one I usually use Don't judge But these are the ones I usually use So those are the ones I usually use um, So this is the one I got from Kiyu It's a whole kit So this is what it looks like y'all I ain't gonna lie, these do not look like my kind of lashes. These look really, really thick and blunt. I hate lashes that don't look natural. What the? Y'all, these are not my kind of lashes. I really, really hope I can make this work. So it comes with um, the lashes itself. It comes with some prep pads. Um, it looks like a brush. I don't know what the brush is for. Like, I just really don't understand what am I using this for. So, I don't know. I understand this part, but not the other part. That's so odd. Alright, so you get the brush and then you get the um, remover. I love, love, love when my eyelash extensions come with removers because it be pulling out your eyelashes. Otherwise, like if you try to take them out without um, the remover or like an oil, it will literally pull your lashes out. It comes with this cute um, tongues things. Y'all, I'm so tired. Don't even judge me. Like I know y'all like, girl, what are you saying? But I'm so tired. And then last but not least, it comes with the bond and seal so yeah um, I'm gonna try to use these next time I hope that I like them I really don't think so based off of the look of them but we'll see I don't want to come off too negative at first without even like trying it so yeah y'all now I'm about to now I'm about to go ahead and try to install this this screen protector on my phone. Let's see how it comes out. I don't have a case yet. My case is coming tomorrow. I do have a case I can put on, but I haven't been in the mood for any of the cases that I have. So 
I go into phases like I have a lot of different phases I either want a case or I don't want a case I either want a pop socket or I don't want a pop socket it's like I just have phases so right now I'm in a phase where it's no case or a clear case so you guys I'll show you guys the one that I get tomorrow but yeah let me install this and I'm gonna show y'all how it come out all you do is literally peel off the back side of this and then you go ahead and put it on top of your phone. So now that's what I did. Go ahead, it says remove from here so you can remove the sticker. Before you actually take it off, you have to squeegee. There are two tabs like here at the top that you have to pull. I think actually it looks pretty good. Right here, this is a scratch that I have in my phone. I guess y'all can't even see that. You see it, there you go. So there's a scratch that I have in my phone. Um, so that's showing through, but I guess you can't cover that up, right? But yeah, it looks good and I'm happy with it. Good morning, y'all. So it is Tuesday. I am currently on my way to clinical. I just left the house. It is so freaking cold. Like this makes no sense. It is 826. I have to be there for nine. The GPS is telling me I'm gonna be there a little early today. So yeah, we'll see about that. About uh, 12 minutes early. But that's good early is always better i'm so excited so right now we are in week seven of eight meaning after this week there's only one more week left and also today y'all we are supposed to be getting our midterm exam grades back so i hope that went well and i don't want to say like too well because i don't think i'm that advanced in this topic and community in general but um i do want to hope that it was at least halfway good enough to still pass.
y'all so i just got back from clinical maybe like literally two minutes ago and then i checked my phone and then i have a notification that my midterm exam grade is out so we about to look at that we finna check it together because i don't think i did as bad as i did on my first one like my first one i completely bombed it straight up i got a 52 and that's like the pre one but I did try to go over the pre one and then study it and um, like the concepts and stuff. And y'all know I'm very, very transparent about my grades. I always will be because I don't think anyone is perfect, but it's important that I think if you're watching someone, I think it's important to see the full picture. Like I used to hate when I was watching people on the internet or on YouTube or on TikTok and this is people who are in nursing school and they would be like like so afraid to share their grades i'm not judging but i'm just not a fan of that and it does make me click off of your video especially if you're sharing it with us but you don't want to share the grade like if that's the case then don't talk about your grades at all and y'all don't judge my hair I'm, I'm gonna take my hair out really really soon i had hold on let's sit down so y'all i'm on the main page right now and i had a 91 in the class and now i have a 90. so what that's telling me is i probably didn't do too bad or too good i if i had to guess i'm gonna say a 75. like enough to drop my grade but not enough to kill it or tank it so yeah i'm gonna guess a 75. so let's see grades I did not fail it so y'all I got an 80 I'm so proud of myself because community if y'all know that y'all know I haven't even been able to pick up the camera like do y'all see me do y'all see me like I haven't been able to take care of myself. All I've been doing is work and school, work and school. So y'all, I'm very, very proud of myself. I know that that's not like killing it or anything, but hey, it's better than a 52 because the way I thought I was gonna bomb this exam, the way I bombed like the pre one, y'all. Oh yeah, and also my professor did grade my presentation. We got a 99 out of 100. She, she took off one point for the APA style. So that was that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take my shower and then get ready for the evening or nighttime, whatever you want to call it. But I'm thinking, y'all, I'm going to be taking out my hair. Not today, but maybe tomorrow. So yeah, I'm probably going to do like a coconut oil treatment tonight. Let that sit overnight. And then tomorrow we gonna start taking out my hair. Y'all, so guess what? Look what's here, my phone case. I told y'all yesterday I was waiting on my phone case because I wanted to change it. But y'all, I ended up putting this one on because I had clinical today. When I'm at clinical, I feel like I have to wear something because it's dangerous at clinical. Like all this we be doing. I just don't trust myself and especially the phone that I have it's um super slippery it's just a regular 14 so the back is so slippery and I just personally don't trust myself I really really honestly want to learn to go caseless but it's impossible because this joint just like it's so slippery but y'all let's go ahead and open it I got it from this company here Okay, y'all. Come with all this crap. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, shoot. Okay. So, this is what the case looks like. Okay. If y'all want to look for this case, it says Starlight on the site. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and put it on. I hope it looks good. I think it's going to look cute, y'all. And it got the little MagSafe with it because I just started using, like, MagSafe at night. And this is what it looks like. 
I love it. So this is what it looks like. This is my home screen right now, y'all. So yeah, it just says stop thinking about everything so much. You're breaking your own heart. Y'all, if that's not the truth, I feel like when we as humans take things on so much, we're the ones kind of inflicting the pain on ourselves. So y'all, this has been my life message lately. Like stop thinking about everything so much. Like nine times out of 10, it's not that deep. We be doing it to ourselves. So that's the message. Stop thinking about everything so much. That's it for my TED talk. Good morning y'all. So it is the next day. It is 6.58 a.m. I'm always, always up early. We not even want to talk about that. Y'all, don't look at my hair too bad because I'm taking it out today. I know it looks super bad, but hey, it's coming out today. So y'all not going to see it like this in the next video. But, um... Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today is my day off, so I'm so excited. I have a few things on the list today. But y'all, if y'all don't know, one thing about me, crumble, I literally love crumble. Crumble is like a daily part of my week each week. Even if I don't show you guys me going, I'm probably at crumble for the week. This week, they have the Tres Leches cake. And I really, really want to try it. I want to try this one, and I think I want to try the or the oatmeal one. So they have the tres leches, the oatmeal. They have a chocolate cake, a peanut butter, a lemon cheesecake, and semi-sweet. So like, let's say they only had the tres leches and nothing else I want to try. I would get the semi-sweet because it never misses. So the semi-sweet is one of my favorite cookies, y'all. But, yeah, we might be going to Crumble today, so, shh, don't tell my trainer. Because one thing about it, two things for sure, I'm going to always have me some breakfast. Always. The dog is making a lot of noise. Hopefully it doesn't bother y'all. Anyways, y'all, while I'm eating, I'm watching um, a watch party of who the f did I marry? Oh, I thought that was the dog. If y'all know me, y'all know. It's all over TikTok. <laughs> but I could not sit there and watch that thing. I'm sorry. It was just far too long, far too many parts. I just could not sit there and watch it. So luckily, one of my favorite YouTubers, Auntie's Advice, I really, really love her page because she be giving the tea and she from the DMV just like me. So we're doing a watch party and I'm just watching her and everyone's making the comments and stuff like that, making it a little bit more, a little bit more, you know, interesting, a little bit more reds on it so see y'all in a little bit so now i'm in the car on my way to crumble i'm so excited like i told y'all earlier so i'll show y'all my crumble when i get it i'm so excited i hope that it's really really good because the internet been hyping up this trust let's just cookie like and it's not even a cookie it's a cake i'm not a cake person but um it depends like my favorite cake is German chocolate cake so I can get down with some uh cake but it just has to be like my favorite hey y'all so it is currently five o'clock on the same day I went to the cookie store y'all it was a hell no it was just a hell no straight up one out of ten I ended up coming home going to sleep because I just had to recover from that monstrosity. So I ended up getting the uh, Tres Leches and the iced oatmeal. The Tres Leches, y'all, that was such a letdown. And I'm so upset because everybody hyped it up. Like everybody hyped it up. So I was expecting it to be good. 
it was not that it was so watery so milky and i guess you can call that my fault y'all because i've never had it before i've never had chestnut but it was so hyped i just knew i was gonna love it right no anyways one out of ten because i couldn't get down with the texture it was just way too watery Ugh, i don't know i don't know not my thing and then um the iced oatmeal was like a five out of ten i could have it could have easily been a skip week you know what i'm saying i got a little small target haul for y'all so y'all i never had this alani new i hope this one's good i plan on trying this tomorrow for work so let's see how it tastes and then y'all y'all know this is a new flavor i've been seeing it all over tiktok too this is cherry twist by alani i heard this one's good too but i don't know i'm just gonna give it a try on my own y'all know i had to get my favorites this is my favorite lotion on earth like and it smells so 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 good i really really was looking for the raspberry one y'all but why they didn't have it like i'm like damn because i love this one right but i don't know i'm not too much feeling the vanilla lately for myself like i want to step out of that because we're going into the hot months the summer months so i was trying to give something new a try but they didn't have it so i got that one and then y'all let me know if y'all like this in the comments if y'all have ever tried this and y'all like it let me know i was looking for uh unscented lotion but ended up getting this one because it's thick i opened it up and it was like damn she thick so yeah that's what drew me to this one so i'm probably just gonna use this one in the nighttime like after the shower you know when i'm not trying to do too much like some days some days you just want the the moisturizing effect without all that other crap so that's what i got this for and i ended up getting the la rose Pochet um cleanser this is the gentle one i saw that they had a clarifying one but i didn't want that because no i have really really dry skin y'all and i just got on birth control so my skin is so right now like this is the most it has ever been and also my back knee so i don't know something about birth control it just i don't know i don't think it helps my hormones i think it makes it worse so but yeah anyways i just have to deal with it because it's life and it is what it is so yeah y'all i hope um this one helps i heard really good things about this i already used the moisturizer so um i'm just trying to like begin to pair up my things and stop using all these different brands the one i use now is the cetaphil gentle it's a gentle cleanser i think from cetaphil or cerave one of them i don't know i get them mixed up anyways y'all i love y'all i'm so sorry for disappearing that won't happen again your girl had to get on her grind and i'm back so ttym